Good to see you here this evening. This is Ashtar. Tonight I will be bringing you something a little bit different. Perhaps uh, we will even have a, a second speaker after me, if you are all good. <laughs> you are always good. We will be doing some work this evening, something very powerful for your well-being. We will be working with uh, bringing in and anchoring your light bodies a little bit more deeply into your physical form. We will be working to empower you a little bit more to open your lower chakras as well as your upper. You have gotten rather accustomed to uh, working from the heart up, but tonight we are going to mm, uh, take it to a little bit deeper level. All of this is, of course, to align you, to expand you in an even and balanced way. And uh, with balance, you can accomplish all that you uh, desire. With balance, you can be empowered. You can be powerful manifestors. You can mm -hmm. be more grounded in your lives, grounded in your experience. This will result in more physical health, more mental and emotional health, and uh, a great many benefits. So that this work uh, that we are doing this evening is quite important. Relax and uh, follow along with me as I ramble on my discourse. Don't forget to breathe. Don't forget to uh, stay attuned to your own higher self as you are listening. This is how you will achieve the maximum of benefit from our gathering. There are many beings here. many physical beings and many more non-physical beings. So this is somewhat of an orchestrated gathering. Those of us who are in higher dimensions will be assisting those of you who are still in physical dimension to achieve that which we have achieved, the ascension. you beings of light, star seeds, light workers. You have been on this planet for a long time, as you know, many lifetimes. Yet you are not strictly of this dimension. You are from a higher sphere, from many higher spheres, I should say. And yet you share many things in common. In fact, spiritually, you might say you are one. Your mission overall is one and the same, and you also share some other uh, experiences. And one of these is a tendency, let me say a tendency, for it is not true in everyone all of the time, but there is a great tendency among uh, the star seeds or the light workers to have a sense of uh, aversion to mm, becoming fully grounded in the physical plane, to fully being here. to manifesting with full power and intensity coming fully into your physical form, there is a tendency to uh, wish to remain in the higher centers and to uh, avoid contact with that which in, you may feel is a little more dense. I'm 
sure most of you have had the experience I'm speaking of. <clears throat> Historically, let me give you a little perspective. Uh, when you first incarnated here, you were incarnated as a light workers or volunteers, spiritual beings who came to assist uh, humanity in uplifting, in uh, raising the consciousness. You came as teachers and examples, and uh, I might call you radiators, radiators of light and love and spiritual experience. And yet uh, often the case when you uh, came here uh, to feel the experience of density, the experience of uh, negativity and mm, anger, fear, all of the lower emotions, etc., that are uh, and have been prevalent on this planet for some time, there mm, was somewhat of, of a shock to your system. Some of you have not fully recovered from that shock. Others uh, mm, have tended to fare uh, better. And this experience, this uh, somewhat uh, an experience of a distaste for uh, being fully present in the physical form, has been carried through many of your lifetimes, most of your lifetimes, into this one. And now that you are mm, reawakening more and more to your spiritual presence, to your purposes, there is an even greater tendency on your part to desire to somewhat escape into spirit, somewhat to mm, expand uh, in a direction which is uh, what you might consider up rather than uh, down into the uh, body and into the earth. And it is true that it is your mm, path in this lifetime to uh, rise your, uh, raise your uh, frequencies and your vibrations and your consciousness to experience the ascension to elevate your physical forms back into the higher dimensions from which you came. So your beliefs and your patterns based upon this are somewhat uh, based upon truth. And yet, mm, the very mm, experience of not being fully present in your bodies has resulted in a little more difficulty here than is necessary, and in fact is somewhat of a hindrance to your being uh, ascended or lifted because we desire to lift you mm, totally. We do not wish to just take your heads mm -hmm. or uh, even uh, from the uh, heart up. It is necessary in order to become an ascended master to have fully functioning uh, limbs and uh, mm, this includes your legs. So tonight we will be bringing the energy down a little bit, trying to get a little bit uh, more of a sense of presence. Your light bodies are always, you who are light workers, uh, connected to you. In your meditations, you often call upon your light bodies or ask your spiritual masters for assistance, your higher self, many terminologies referring to the same general uh, process and experience. That you call upon your higher self to manifest and you long to experience that expandedness, that light, that beauty, that openness and awareness that is you, that is who you are and what you are. There is a tendency to uh, attempt to somewhat escape into a spiritual experience mm, and to not take the uh, physical body with you or to not bring the light all the way through. Some of you have, in fact all of you have somewhat of a memory, a subconscious memory of your first incarnation and of all of your subsequent incarnations in the physical form. And having been here and having experienced a great deal of the pain and discomfort that you have had to bear in your many lifetimes, <clears throat> there is a natural aversion to mm, let me say, uh, getting any deeper than you need to be. 
you like to uh, mm. dip your toes in a little bit to the water rather than plunging fully into the physical form. And yet, what is within you, the light, the presence, the higher self, is requiring of you now that you truly manifest fully, presently, through your entire being. This includes your lower centers as well. This includes balancing the work that we have been doing with you. Many of you have been coming for some time. We have been mm, trying to assist you in integrating this New Age energy and mm, keeping you in balance. So now it seems to me that there is a need, uh, generally speaking, to mm. work a little bit on the lower chakras as well. In fact, you could say that many of the so-called problems that you have encountered and encounter in your life are due to your mm, not being fully present, not being fully uh, present within your physical form, not being balanced in all of your centers. If you have not uh, brought yourself down fully into your body, into your power center, it is mm, very difficult to have anything but an experience of a powerlessness. If you are having difficulty manifesting that which you desire, financially or other ways, this also is an indication that you need to work more on bringing the energy in, on empowering yourself. There is a great deal of power within your body when it is fully aligned. You are intended to be able to create that which you desire much more easily than you have been, with much less strain and much less stress. You have been intended to have an experience of security and peace, and yet if you are not fully present in your physical form, you have a tendency towards fear, towards feeling mm. abandoned somehow abandoned and disconnected from your source, from your security. In fact, when you first came to this planet as volunteers, one of your initial reactions in many cases was a feeling of shock that you felt so different it is very different to be in the third dimension rather than in the fifth dimension. And part of this shock was, mm -hmm. over time, the experience of losing your connectedness with your source, with the ships, with your original uh, point of origin. Whatever you uh, tend to view that as, And that feeling of being abandoned or being cut off has also resulted in a great deal of mm, distress or mm, powerlessness, fear, anxiety. And many of you have taken many lifetimes and have been mm, very humble, very meek in your uh, mannerisms. So though you came here to be mm, powerful, of manifesting beings of light, you often found yourself clinging to a lesser experience. This is not to say you have not done your spiritual work. You have. 
This is not a criticism. It is merely mm, the fact. And now as you are awaking, awakening, those tendencies within you to still be meek and humble and mild and fearful, powerless, still somewhat cling to you, still have a, a strong hold upon your subconscious memory and your emotional body. Mm, what is needed to eradicate this and to restore you to your full presence, which is quite magnificent, is a full, mm, let me say, a blast of your light body, of your true self, manifesting throughout your entire form, radiating, mm, blowing away those uh, old ideas and concepts once and for all. When you feel yourself reconnected, when you, whenever you feel yourself <clears throat> fully aligned and connected with guidance, there is no fear. There is peace, there is love, mm. there is trust. <clears throat> but you see there is a <clears throat> somewhat of a tendency when you are confronted, and this is true for all human beings, to attempt to escape from confrontation. <clears throat> and escape for you has been <clears throat> to return to your source or to return through your higher centers and uh, leave your bodies even. Attempting to leave your bodies while you are still in them to avoid confrontation or, or pain. So there is a strong ingrained tendency that we are going to uh, work upon eradicating, showering some light upon. And you will benefit from being here fully. Even if you are considering yourself on the ascension path, waiting for the first wave of ascension to lift you so that you can return to your natural state, <clears throat> you are still here now. And you must still live and cope and deal with this reality while you are ascending, while you are becoming more and more enlightened. And in fact, the enlightenment or the ascension process requires that you mm -hmm. be here and be uh, fully empowered within your body, or at least to a certain extent. To love yourself fully, not just the part of you that you consider spiritual, but the entire package. Love the body allow that this love uh, penetrates every cell in the body and heals it and connects you with it and lets you feel your connection with the earth, which is a tremendous source of strength. In fact, uh, part of your work that you need to do is to uh, become fully present so that you can channel more energy through your bodies in your various uh, services and in general into the earth for healing of the planet. So if you are wondering why you at times have a difficulty experiencing higher states of consciousness or bringing more energy in, perhaps you uh, need to uh, look uh, at your balance or look at your groundedness for you can only absorb a certain amount of spiritual energy if you are not an open conduit allowing it to flow through you. It will become stagnant if it does not flow through you. One of the ways that it longs to flow through is through your bodies, through your legs into the earth to connect so that you can feel a smoothness in your experience, a smoothness in the flow of energy. If you have experiences of meditation or uh, in your channelings or whatever you do, of uh, feeling a little bit uh, burned or a little bit fried, as you say, sometimes you say, I'm feeling rather crispy, these sorts of experiences. Mm, this, this is due uh, in large part to mm, not being fully open or fully grounded. When you are fully grounded, you can bring through 
uh, a vast amount of energy, a vast amount of mm, spiritual presence, and not feel a little, not feel too uh, overwhelmed by it. Of course, there is a tendency to mm, feel stretched from time to time, but you can greatly relieve the uh, pressure of this new age energy by being grounded in your life, grounded in your physical forms. You can imagine yourselves as mm, large uh, hollow tubes. Imagine your bodies and your uh, chakras all the way down as some sort of a large hollow uh, tube or hose. And what we will do is we will pour light energy through the top of your head and fill you up. And it is intended that your mm, hose have an opening at the bottom so that the light can flow through, so that the energy can continue to flow through. This is very healing to you. This is very soothing and uh, very empowering. But uh, like any other hose, if you uh, close it off at any point, the water that is flowing in through the top will fill and overflow and uh, not be able to mm, continue to flow through. As you know, this new age is upon us. It is manifesting very powerfully, and you are all experiencing the increase in light energy, and uh, your bodies and yourselves are demanding and asking and attempting in whatever way they can to mm, open to this energy and to mm, release the blocks or release the uh, areas where you are constricted so that you can mm, handle this new inflow of energy in a very uh, peaceful way, a very natural way, and have a gradual experience of growth and light. Every day you are receiving more. Every day your bodies are being called upon to uh, transmute a little bit more, to become a little bit lighter, to vibrate a little bit faster, to raise a little bit in vibration. And this goes for your legs, too. Not just your heart, uh, your third eye, your crown chakra. Your entire body, you are a one package, you see. And your head will not uh, function very effectively if it is vibrating at a faster rate than your legs. This creates discomfort and headaches. yourself to this uh, possibility and open yourself to breathing a little bit mm -hmm. from your belly. Let the breath go all the way through you. Let it uh, expand your belly to be relaxed. This brings the energy more into your body and is very healing. the best way to escape duality and limitation. It is to ascend. It is to uh, achieve enlightenment, liberation. Yet the enlightenment and liberation that you will achieve, it is our sincere hope, will be mm, not uh, brought about by your dying and leaving your physical body but by you ascending with your physical bodies into the higher realms, there to meet your teachers face to face. This is why we need to be open fully.
So simply allow the energy to be with you, allow it to flow through you. Try to breathe gently from your stomach area, not so much from your chest alone. So I think it is time to uh, mm -hmm. call forth another who would like to be with you, someone who is an expert in this area, and quite a character, I might add. Mm -hmm. So we will meditate a little bit more, and uh, mm -hmm. hopefully we can bring in uh, another guest to be with you to continue this process. My name is Watana. I am uh, best understood by you as Native American. My last lifetime was in the tribe called the Sioux. For many centuries, thousands of years, my tribe were the caretakers of this land. My tribe, not just Sioux tribe, but all Native Americans, what you might call the bird tribes. We lived in a connection with the earth with the Earth Mother, yet our source is as yours in the star. One thing we learned, how to be present, how to be grounded in the, in the physical body, how to be connected with the Earth. how to be strong, to be warriors, spiritual warriors. There was 
a time, for a long time, when we were one with the Father. We are the tribes who are and have been aligned with the Father's energy. Most of us are no longer in the physical bodies. For the intensity of the Earth's vibration, the negativity and the density of fear and anger became too strong for us, so we departed to other realms to await the and we have been awaiting this time now that it is here we too are doing all that we can been invited by Ashtar, by the spacemen, as you call them, to come and assist you in grounding, open you a little bit more to the wonder of your own physical body, to the joy that comes with being in here, on this earth, in this form. You have need to experience the joy, the presence. You have need to connect with the earth. To love the earth. Allow your spirits to come through your bodies and touch the earth. Most of the time you are walking around in your heads. <laughs> you use your body to carry your head around. Your head is very important, but it is not everything. Living from your head alone makes you crazy. Mm -hmm. Now you are trying to bring spirit in more and more to your bodies, to your beings, to expand, and you are trying to open your heart. You are opening your heart. I warn you, when you open your heart, you are opening to your full being, for the heart will love not only your head, but your whole self. So now it is time to take it a little deeper. We will do what we can this evening to assist you in resolving your imbalances in this way. In fact, there are many here with me. Many of my tribe we have been working, though we have not been incarnated in these bodies for some time. We have been working. We have been guiding, assisting those beings who leave their bodies, guiding them. We have been carrying messages, giving you messages, sending you healing energy. So 
open to our presence. It is indicated. Now is the time. Use all the resources that are at your disposal. Tonight we present you with another resource. Water. When you call upon me, I will help you. If you are afraid, I will help you. If you are in your head, <laughs> I will come and laugh at you. <laughs> you are not enjoying yourselves enough in your bodies. You are waiting to get out of your bodies. <laughs> you are waiting to ascend and you think if you ascend you will be not having to deal with your body. you got to take your body with you. you got to do some healing down here. Hmm? you got to learn to love yourself enough physically as well as spiritually. Take care of yourselves. When you withhold the energy of spirit from your lower chakras, from your lower centers, you break the flow of energy, you break the flow of the life force. This results in illnesses. It results in imbalanced emotions, all sorts of craziness. Beings, beautiful people like yourself, you should not be suffering anymore. You should be happy. If you are waiting to ascend, you should enjoy your physical form. I tell you, when we were here, we enjoyed our physical form. We took great pleasure, great joy, for we did not feel the earth was farther from the Creator than anything else. All is one. So your body is divine too. Don't be so fast to escape from it. Enjoy it. I am looking forward to taking another body. But I will not do so under these conditions. The world is too crazy for me. <laughs> I will come back when all are, all is clean. All is purified when the crazy ones are gone. <laughs> then I will dance on the plains. I will get a new body, same as you. give you some tips tonight. I know you like to get tips so you can ignore them. <laughs> you get so many tips you don't know what to do with them. <laughs> Everybody's got advice. <laughs> well, I'm no different. I will give you some advice about how to mm, be here and be happy being here and enjoy your physical presence and, uh, and heal yourself, get some healing going. Get some presence going so you can become powerful warriors that you are. When you are powerful, when you are fully present, 
in your body. The negative energies cannot harm you, cannot hurt you so much. You will be solid. You will be strong. You will have protection. You will be able to manifest. You will not be afraid of humans, crazy humans. <laughs> you will not have to avoid them so much. You will still avoid them, but you will not have to avoid them. You will avoid them because they are crazy, not because they are hurting you. <laughs> so how to bring the energy down? Number one, we already said it. I'll say it one more time. When you do your meditation, when you are breathing, when you do your walking, all of your working, breathe from down here. Bring it down all the way. You notice when you get afraid, what's the first thing you do? You try to get out of your body. You try to get out and go this way. This makes you powerless, then you get more afraid. What you should do when you are challenged is come more into your body. Ground yourself into the earth. That brings in the strength, and then that brings in the wisdom. If you are trying to get out the top of your head, it is difficult to hear your guides and messengers telling you what to do. If you are pulling your energy down into your bodies, you will also pull down the wisdom, pull down the messages. You'll bring your guides into your body too for protection. You are very powerful beings. You have a lot of allies, very powerful allies. You've got to learn to use them, trust them, let them come in all the way. So breathe down here. Practice it. When you do this, call on me. You can call on Ashtar if you want. You can call on all of the others. If you are trying to ground your energy, they will most likely send you some members of the tribe. It's our specialty. If you call on me, I will be with you make you stronger. Make you feel happy. More energy, more strength, more healing. More power in your body. More power in your manifestation. More power in your mm, Expression, self-expression. There's no way around it. You've got to bring it in. I didn't have those tape recorders in my day. <laughs> they always give me trouble. I'm getting better at it, though. So when you're channeling, Bring the energy all the way in. Hmm? If you can bring the being all the way into your legs, all the way into your body, you don't have to be channeling or talking. You can be calling on him in meditation. It feels really good. You can feel Jesus in your whole body. Very healing, very empowering. I'll give you another hint. Say you are walking down the street or you're walking in the woods. Let me say that you have a brilliant realization that you're being crazy. 
<laughs> that you're thinking, that you're worrying, that you're in your head too much. Mm. When you're like this, you can't even feel your body, you can't even feel your legs. You're like a robot. When you feel that way, when you realize this brilliant deduction, hey, I'm a little bit lost here. Mm -hmm. Walk along and feel your feet on the earth. If you can feel the sensation of your feet, it will pull your energy down into your body, balancing you a little more. This is a great trick. This is why it's good to go barefoot sometimes. You can really feel the earth when you're barefoot. I don't know if you should try it. I think you're all tender feet. <laughs> you know, I've got to work up to that. Also too much concrete these days. Find a place where there's dirt under your feet. Try it then. Wiggle your toes in the dirt. Ask for Watana to be with you. I know this sounds crazy to you guys. I know what you're thinking. Why should I do that? You do that, you'll mm, many rewards. You'll open yourself. You can manifest better. You get more power. Your manifestation comes from here. It don't come from here so much. Ideas come from here. You project from here somehow what you want. But you give it the power from here. It is very strong. There is a martial art called Aikido. Different martial arts. They use this. They come from down here. You can't knock them over. Ten guys pushing one guy can't knock them over. He's down here. Okay, I'm going to go out on a limb here and ask if you guys got any questions for me. <laughs> I already know you're all crazy. <laughs> but if I can't help you, I will. person I've always been uh, had relative health and had allergies to get all the different things, pollen, tobacco smoke, and dust and so on. Kind of delicate health. Is there anything you could uh, share with me that could help me increase that my protect myself and also strengthen my uh, immune system. That's what we're working on, you see. Mm -hmm. You've got a lot in common with others here. This one, he's in the same boat. You come here, light beings manifest in a world of darkness. You're bound to get some mm, challenge, some difficult. So what you do is you try to get out. You try to be here little as possible. You got mm, resistance to being fully in your body. This results in a fragile health. Mm, 
makes your nerves a little bit more mm, sensitive. So, mm, I'll tell you the same thing. Ashtar said, you've got to be fully present. You can be fully present in your body and bring that energy in. Use the tricks I'm giving you. Call on me. I'd be happy to help you. I think you've got some Native American blood in you somewhere. Easier to help you. The more Native American lifetimes you have, easier it is for me to relate to you. I think you've all had some. So connect with that part of you. Connect with that warrior spirit and uh, come down in your body fully. Let the energy circulate. Let it flow through. Mm. That will help a lot. Just remember, nothing's perfect here. So, you may not get to be perfect, but you'll feel better. More empowered, more energy. Mm -hmm. You radiate more energy from here. Mm -hmm. Make you stronger. Then you get like protective shield. Protective shield. Maybe your shield gets strong enough that pollen can't even come in. Bring it down. Bring the energy down here. Call on me in your meditation. I'll be I'll be happy to help you. I'll bring you some medicine, man. Mm, yeah, very good. You exercise, you can't think so much when you're tired, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Do exercise, you're thinking about catching the ball, you're thinking about not falling down while you're running. Where are you going to put your feet? And you run along the earth, and you feel your feet, huh? This brings you down. Very good. come from the stars, go into the earth, heal the earth, Mother Earth crying, we hear the Mother Earth crying, we're doing what we can, you do what you can, so heal yourself, you also heal the earth, you heal yourself, you heal somebody else by touching them, looking at them, yeah, that good meditation. If it feels hard for you when you're doing it, it's probably not because you mm, not open up here, probably down here. So if you feel like it's not coming through all the way, call on me. Call on the Native Americans. Connect with us. We're flying all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> we got ponies now with wings. <laughs> Very busy, everybody busy. <laughs> Waiting on you hand and foot. Come on, you guys. Shape up. You've got to learn to be happy and enjoy yourself. Not worry so much about what's up here. Your ideas, all your thoughts, confusions. You wonder how many dimensions there are. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I 
be here, be here in this body. Then you go to the other dimensions. <laughs> then you see what's there. <laughs> you can think about what's there. Someone can come in. We can have Ashtar come in and tell you about what it's like on the eighth dimension. Big deal. <laughs> you got to feel it. You got to go there yourself. It's like if you're walking across the plains and it's 110 degrees and you're thinking about water. That doesn't do it, does it? <laughs> you're sweating, you're going crazy, you're waiting to come to that river, you open the river isn't dry. Hmm? We know how to connect, we know how, because we had to connect to survive. We get up here, dead meat, <laughs> and buzzard food. <laughs> we connect down here so we know connected to the earth. We know where the animals are. Hmm? We know where the water is. We know what's going to happen with the weather. It's important information. You guys are a little bit distanced from that, huh? You got it easy. It makes you more crazy. So don't worry about the eighth dimension. Mm. Eighth dimension doing fine without you. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need any more crazy people in the eighth dimension. You want to get to the eighth dimension, stop being so crazy now. Then you'll get there. Oh, second question. Oh, I was told that I'm actually holding in my third chakra. I guess I... Something I associated power with um, hurting people. I wonder how I, I would deal with that. Same way. Mm -hmm. You've been here many lifetimes. A lot of you guys, mm, very powerful beings, yeah. But you did stuff in your life. Maybe you mm, judged yourself. You feel like I oh, you misused my power, so I'm never going to use that power again. Either that, or you came through in a powerful way to teach these crazy people something. And then they hurt you. Hmm? Maybe they hung you up some way or hmm, cut you up or did something weird to you. So you said, I'm never doing that again. I want to keep it to myself. I'm going to be meek and humble. Hmm. You did this to stay alive, huh? So all of you got a lot of power here sort of stagnant, waiting to come out. You're holding it in. You're waiting till it's safe. Find a safe place. Let it out. You've got a fear. You let it out in the world. Hmm. They're going to look at you funny. Hmm? You become a divine being. You become very radiant, spiritual warrior. Everybody's going to start looking at you, asking you crazy questions like you're asking me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Except you got to stay here, huh? I can go back where I came from. <sighs> Sit around the campfire. Smoke the peace pipe. Hmm. So I say, yeah, you got it. Mm -hmm. Like most of you got it. That power doesn't want to come out. You got judgments about yourself, you've got criticisms, you've got fears. Mm. You don't have to worry anymore. You're not going to abuse anybody. You let your power out now, what you empower is going to be the light, you see. When you let your power out now, it's going to mm, be a manifesting, manifesting tool. It's going to carry the light. It's going to make you radiate more. It's going to empower you and Mm. radiate outwards like mm. broadcast healing then you'll be able to manifest more too so do what I said and don't have that fear don't have that fear that you're going to mm. hurt somebody you can be spiritual warrior spiritual warrior never hurt anybody but they don't take it either. Hmm? 
you stand up for yourself. Learn how to stand up for yourself. Don't let them blow you away with their craziness. Learn to stand still. When you confront it, connect. Connect with the earth. Feel your feet. Feel your power. Mm. You can be like that boulder that's in the stream. The water flowing all around it, but it doesn't move. Mm. It's not going anywhere. It's been there for a thousand years. So you be like that. About this world, about the thoughts. Mm. Other people's thoughts. Judgments. Their ideas. Just let it flow around you. You don't have to move. You don't have to get out of the way. Let them get out of your way. You're the ones that know the truth. Don't be afraid. You won't hurt anybody. Now you can release yourself from your vow. All of you. Release yourselves from those ideas you had. Maybe you did hurt somebody, so what? We all make mistakes, huh? I have a question. Um, also about my own physical health. I can remember not so long ago when I felt really great in my body and I could run and jump and play. Recently, um, I'm experiencing quite a bit of limitation in this body, in my hands and in my feet. And it feels like I'm doing or trying to do everything I can think of doing to let release this and let it go. And somehow it doesn't feel like it's moving. So do you recommend exactly what you've been saying or can you add something else to it? doing some emotional stuff. Am I doing some emotional stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I'll give you the mm, same advice, but i also say mm, it's emotions. They get stuck in there. Negative emotions. Mm, painful emotions. They get stuck in there. Mm, bad ideas. You've got bad ideas. You believe in them. They get stuck in there. Mm bad ideas about yourself sometimes. <laughs> hmm. It'll take some time, I think, for you. If it's mm. taking some time to get to that place, you're going to take some time to get out of it. Do the emotional work. Do a meditation. Call on guides. Call on me. You can still connect with the earth, huh? Go out and Walk a little bit in the earth. Stand on the earth if you can't walk. Stand there. Feel the energy coming through. Feel your feet. Get those healings. Get those healings. Everything. you got to do everything. you got to attack it from every angle. Hmm? It'll go away. You just got craziness more in your body than in your brain, huh? Other people got it more in their brain. We all got some kind of crippled up from being here. Mm. Stuck in different ways. Yeah. It's going to be fixed. It's going to take some faith, see? You got to teach yourself some faith using this lesson, I think, too. Time to pull out the cannons. For you, pull out the cannons and blast it away. You've got to use all of everything you've got. Then sometimes you're going to want to give up, huh? Mm. And let yourself give up a couple hours. <laughs> 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 Just 
Sometimes you just have to surrender, huh? You give up. Stop trying. Trying so hard to be good all the time. You don't have to be good all the time. You just got to be real all the time. Got to be here all the time. That's what you got to work on. Don't worry how good you do it. Just start doing it. You all got protection around you. You all got guides working with you. Like I said, waiting on you hand and foot. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want, you ask them, they're there. This is a very special time. Sometimes you don't feel them. They're still there. Sometimes you don't feel them, it makes you cry, huh? Sometimes you gotta cry. Gotta feel those emotions. Hmm. Sometimes you feel the sorrow. You've got sorrow from being here so long. Feel the pain, huh? From being here in this body. Like angels stuck in body, huh? Don't be afraid to feel it. Anchor yourself. Hmm? Ground yourself and feel it. If you're grounded, it won't blow you away. You won't be afraid of it. You can feel it then. Then you can be strong. You feel it, it goes away. It goes away and don't come back. Mm. Then you get clear. Then you bring in more light. Then you get what you're wishing for all along. Pretty soon you'll get it. Mm. You get yours and I'll get mine. We'll all get it together. <laughs> Everybody be happy. Except for the crazy ones. <laughs> I don't think they'll ever be happy. I've been talking to them for a long time. Talk to them when they're sleeping. That's the only time you can get through to them. <laughs> you come and whisper in their ear, Hey, don't be so crazy. <laughs> they have great dreams. They're floating. They're Native Americans. They're flying to heaven, huh? Great dreams. They come back and they wake up just as crazy as ever. <laughs> it doesn't faze them. I don't know. I think there's got to be some greater wisdom than I got to figure them out. So don't let them push you around either, huh? You're not like them. You're beautiful beings. Divine beings. Your day's here. This is your day. This is my day. We do what we can, but we don't have to worry about it. It's our day now. The power is ours now. Any more questions? Maybe one more. Yeah, I have another question. <laughs> I feel like to hear you talk, I want you to go, yes! <laughs> you guys are getting smart, you know. I give you the same answer to every question. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to deal with crazy people. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you'll probably give me the same answer, but I'll ask it anyway. <laughs> go ahead. I have a question about why, in particular, um, I'm here now to do what I know this stuff about being a light being and um, that we're here to help each other and to be a healer. And, but I want to know in what way, in particular, I can use myself or offer whatever I have. What Do you see anything there? What is that? <clears throat> Number one, mm, you're here because you want to uh, achieve what they call the ascension. You know about that a little bit. Mm. That's in general. You're all here for that big party going on. You want to be there. <laughs> you don't want to <laughs> oh, well, okay. I'll come back in the body this time. Maybe it'll be different. I'll give it one more try, huh? <laughs> 
You don't do nothing your whole life. You just wait for ascension. <laughs> do a little bit. You keep some food on the table, huh? Mm -hmm. I would say for you, mm -hmm. you're in training session here. You're receiving a lot of lessons from your own healing, right? Mm -hmm. This is your number one thing. Work on healing yourself. You've got to heal yourself, then you can help heal others. But I think when you go through this process, you're going to learn a lot. You're going to learn a lot about mm, how you can become healed, how you can go from mm, pain to mm, help. You learn this, then if you've got some time left before you ascend, you can mm, share with others. So this is a general I'm not going to tell you anything in particular. You've got so many choices, you don't know what to do with them. All of you got choices everybody wants. Tell me what to do. <laughs> I'm not getting involved in that. <laughs> Watana, you told me to do this. <laughs> now look what happened. It's all your fault. Forget about it. I just help you get here, get wise. You get wise, it gets easy to choose. A, B, or C. Hmm. You choose one. So for you, I say focus on your healing now. You that, do that. That's important for you. Pay attention. Pay attention to the process, what you learn. Maybe keep diary of your own progress. Huh? Write down. Maybe this would help you. Write down what you're going through. Mm, write down your feelings, your emotions, mm. what you experience on your path. Huh? This might help you. A little bit, maybe. Hard to write sometimes, huh? Tape recorders. They're good for something. But anyway, just remember, whatever way you remember doesn't matter. Remember what you go through. You're going to meet a lot of people that are like you are now. And they're going to be looking for help like you're looking for help now. And you can tell them, you can guide them. That's very important. A lot of healing to be done. I think you'll be doing a lot of healing work. Practice on yourself first. That's enough. That's a full plate there. You don't need any more. When the dessert comes after you eat your full plate, huh? Mm -hmm. Then the dessert comes. Eat your vegetables. They're good for you. They don't taste good, but they're good for you. Mm -hmm. Do your emotional work. That's like eating your vegetables. Then let it go. Everything, you can let it all go. You feel it, you let it go. Ask for your other teachers to take it away. And ask for me to help you too. I'll come in. Hmm. Try and get some energy down to those legs. More power. The more power you can get, the more you can push out the stuff that you want to push out. Get that energy flowing again. The energy is like love, huh? You love yourself. you got to get that energy flowing through your body. All the way through. And that's what health is. Just the energy flowing through, not blocked. Energy of love, energy of light power. So I guess, hmm, Ashtar's telling me I gotta meditate with you crazy guys. 
<laughs> oh boy. Okay, I'm going to surrender this time. <laughs> we all got to surrender sometime. So I'll surrender to this one. Me and Ashtar, we're going to do some work with you. And the tribes here surrounding you. So just open. Breathe down here. Feel the energy. Let it come into your body. Then. If it feels like it's coming into your body, into your legs, let it do so. Let it do that. Breathe down here. Breathing is important. That's what they're all telling you, huh? It's important. Take it a little deeper. Relax a little more. I like you guys. <laughs> You've got a lot of heart. Mm -hmm. I like to work with you. Some of you getting very Native American here. <laughs> like sitting around a campfire, huh? <laughs> hmm. You're not so crazy as I thought. <laughs> Pretty open. Good to be open. Distance from the heart down here, not very great, huh? Pretty easy. No problem. From up here, down here. Hmm. Long journey sometimes. <laughs> Open the heart, then you go down here, huh? like you do tonight. So I'm going to tell you some more tips. What I already told you, plus I thought of another one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got a good one for you. What are you laughing at, huh? <laughs> I know I'm a little bit different. <laughs> so sue me, huh? <laughs> Breathe down here, number one. You're meditating when you're walking, when you're working, whatever you're doing, driving the car. <laughs> <laughs> I never drove a car. <laughs> don't even want to. <laughs> Breathe down here. Laugh a lot, huh? Good for you to laugh. Brings energy down here, healing. Call on Native American. Call on me. Hmm? Feel your feet. Walk around. Run around. Mm. Bring the energy down. Feel the way your feet feel. You can wiggle your toes if you want. When you're walking along on the ground, there's a sensation. It's called the earth. Might be new to some of you. <laughs> but get used to it. You feel the earth, it brings your energy down into your legs, into your, mm, your power. Then that brings the spirit down. Then you'll be full, full of spirit, full of love. Extra bonus tip. <laughs> no extra charge. <laughs> when you work with your meditation, you got like crystals, huh? You work with the dark stones. Hold on to them. You can carry them in a pouch. You can carry them with you. Smoky quartz, good, very good. Warrior crystal, hmm. spiritual warrior. You hold on to them. You call upon me. Black tourmaline, good. Good stone too. Obsidian, very powerful. Watch out for that one. <laughs> you don't want to grow, you stay away from that one. A little bit, work with that one a little bit maybe. 
not too long at a time. So you'll get really good. So let's work together. If you like being with me, call on me. You've got a lot of Native American blood. You've got lifetimes. You've got memories. Use them. Bring it back. Bring them back to you. I'll come in your sleep and give you some feathers. You can call on us. Take you in your sleep. I think I take you tonight. I want to ask all the questions. <laughs> <laughs> I think I take you tonight. Ask for us in your sleep, huh? Before you go to sleep. Mm -hmm. We take you to the medicine man. Maybe sit around, smoke some herbs. <laughs> Don't forget to laugh. It's good to hear you guys laugh. When I hear you laugh, I know you're not crazy. <laughs> it's hard to be crazy when you're laughing. So we love you all. I make fun, but you are doing good. Take it to the next step. That's all. Keep going. Don't give up. You're going to get what you want. When you get what you want, then I'm going to get what I want. So you see, I want you guys to succeed. You've got longing to go back to the space where you came from. I got longing to come back to the earth. Be back with the planet one more time for a while. Walk across the grass. Drink the clear water. Feel the sun. All this is beautiful. You got it. What's left of it you can enjoy, huh? Pretty soon it'll all be back pure again. Then I come back with the tribe, take care of the earth, do some teaching, more teaching. We all got different paths, huh? Great spirit is kind and good to all of us. We're all going to get what we want. Because we're, mm, we're the good guys. <laughs> we're the good guys. Loyal spirits. Mm. Loyal to the father. Loyal to the mother. We're going to get our rewards now. So I'll see you guys sometime. Maybe I'll see you in your sleep. If you ask for me, I'll be there. Goodbye. Goodbye.